What's up, Tank Nerds? Lottie here again. I know some of you like it when I say that, some of you don't. We're going to do a quick little video in the preparation of what we do for the engine timing, both magneto and the valve timing. So we're going to start with the magnetos and then I will quickly run you through the uh, engine side of things. Okay, magneto, here is one that I prepared earlier. Uh, first things first, got to make sure that uh, it runs up correctly. I will try to maybe insert a little video in here showing the spark um, around. Now, uh, simply set it up on a bench, get a power drill, stick it in the back there and spin it up. Normally we put a little bit of wire in here uh, and that way I would film it, but the problem is you can't actually see it on the camera. It doesn't really pick up so well. Uh, but as it spins around, you will, you should see 12 distinct points of sparking. That way you know that uh, all 12 are igniting. Now the point gap, which is right in here, is quite essential in its openmost point, which is right there. That should be between 12 and 13 thousandths of an inch. So you grab a little feeler gauge and just pop it in there. Obviously get rid of your rotor, but because I put the rotor back on, we will not bother doing that. And same with this one here. So you can see open, closed, open, closed. And that gap right there should be 12 or 13 thou. So groovy. Insert cool spinny stuff right now. And we're back. Next up, we have the cam timing. Uh, what we need to do before we do anything else is make sure that we set the tappets correctly. I'll show you how to do that right now. On to our engine. Now we've already done, or rather uh, Peter has already done all of these. Uh, quite simply, uh, either grab a tool or a um, large shifter. I should probably mention that. Um, we call these shifters in Australia. I know a lot of people call them adjustable spanners or adjustable wrenches, whatever have you. Anyway, shifter, because we're in Australia, uh, simply put it on here uh, or on, yeah, you just need to turn um, the cams over until the lobes uh, until you're working on the back end of the lobes. You use this groovy little tool. You don't have to, but it is, a, well, it's a lot more helpful. This came out of a Rolls-Royce toolkit, which we've got a full set over there. So we've got the tools, so we use them. With this end, you put it on the top like so, put the other side down, and that'll allow you to loosen and tighten it while holding uh, the tap it in place. Once you've uh, loosened, backed it off, grab your little feeler gauge. Now we've got this one set to 21, 21, should be 20 thou, um, but that one is broken at the moment. So I'm just gonna demonstrate with a 21 and you put it in the back here and then with it still in there, make sure it's all the way up and you reset your tap it. And that way, every single one should be set to 20,000. So yeah, and that is what we need to do in preparation for the valve timing. It's, um, everything is very essential. Fun little fact for you, little factoid. Uh, in the manual, these two here, uh, which is bank B6 
inlet and A1 inlet, which is these two here. In the book, it says to set these uh, to 35 thou, and that is for timing. We don't bother with that because, uh, well, we've never had to. Um, eventually, you do need to set these back to 20 thou, uh, but that's just so you give it, it gets a little bit of advance um, on, on the valves. Don't really need to do that. You just um, just do it the way that I'm going to show it <laughs> in, in the future video. So there you have it. Um, quick little video. Uh, again, nothing really much to talk about while we're just doing everything. Um, I've been doing a lot of the wiring inside the tank and Peter's been out here doing all the engine stuff. Uh, but yeah, in the very, 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 very near future, we've probably already done it by the time this video comes out, we'll do all of the timing, both for the magneto uh, and for the valve train. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, I'm going to try and put a bit more effort into that video because I want it to be the be all and end all for timing your Meteor Mark IV B. So uh, leave a comment down below, ask questions, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.